presented by Starbucks. When it comes to ingredients that I love to use, pork is the end all be all for me. If I could bathe in bacon fat, I'd do it. My name is Justin Albertson. I'm the executive chef of Perch Restaurant in downtown Los Angeles. We have this beautiful French bistro, this beautiful French building. The view is amazing. There's a live band blasting in at seven o'clock. The crowd is super diverse, and it's just a it's a great place for people watching and to enjoy yourself and and just have a great meal. I initially got into cooking because I was very interested in women, and I felt like that would be a great way to get to know them a little bit better. I ended up one night having dinner at a French bistro down the street from my house and loved the food, walked up to the chef and said, I'm considering this for a career. I have zero experience, I'll wash your dishes. How can I start? And the pantry guy had just given us two weeks notice, so he told me to come the next day. I showed up to work in suit pants and like a button up shirt and I was covered in crap by the end of the night and I had never felt so good about myself or about the work I had done. There was something inside me that said, this is what you want to do. I never looked back. Summertime I love because of the abundance of produce, but I'm more of a heavier, richer kind of guy, so I like fall and winter when you can start doing the roasted root vegetables and the purees and the soups and the braises. I have a gnocchi right now with pesto and summer squash. We're gonna segue into a agnolotti with butternut squash and ricotta, green apples, pecorino cheese, some truffle creme fraiche, and uh, brown butter roasted pumpkin seeds. My style is very impulsive. It's kind of what I wanna cook, when I wanna cook it, based on seasonal ingredients. Generally, a dish that becomes iconic starts with stuff that you just like to eat. One that I serve here is definitely the pork belly. I've worked on that for a long time, and we cure the pork for 32 hours, rinse it, and then sous vide it for another five to six hours, and then pan fry it and glaze it with maple syrup and cherry vinegar. Serve a little bit of pickled apples and frisee and uh, serrano pepper, so you have a really nice balance of sweet, sour, spicy, a little bit of bitterness from the frisee. I think it's a well-balanced dish. Uh, kind of a signature dish because of the name and the dish itself is the little bunny frou-frou. It's a ravioli of braised rabbit leg finished with some uh, salami, parsnip and bacon fat breadcrumbs, fresh rosemary, and a little bit of carrot tops. The raviolis are all made in-house. It's, it's about a three-day process. Braising the rabbit leg, picking the rabbit leg, and then making a farce out of it robo it, adding the butter, and then rolling out the pasta and making all the ravioli. A lot of love, a lot of patience, a lot of frustration. When I make a menu, I, I focus on what can I do consistently well? What can I show my cooks that are, is not gonna be too overwhelming for them so when they get busy, they can continue to execute it on a nightly basis. I think that innovation is a very loose term. There's a, only a few chefs in my mind that are super innovative. I mean, you're talking about Grand Acatitalinia and Ferran Adria at El, El Bulli and uh, Rene Redzepi. They're innovating, they're changing the shape of the wheel. I've been exposed to that, but I enjoy more rustic uh, ingredients and, and simple food. But at the same time, you can definitely play with global flavors and, and fusion and make something that's fairly traditional, but the flavor profile could be completely different. I think. The key to staying relevant now is making sure that you are eating out and, and seeing and tasting what's going on um, in, in your surrounding areas and reading cookbooks. You know, people have mapped out their success in their cookbooks a lot of times and you can play off of that. When people come to visit uh, and dine at Perch, I want to provide them with an experience that is fun and make food that's accessible and not make them feel like we're trying too hard or trying to be something that we're not. You have to make sure that you're playing within your concept. If you keep changing all the time, it makes it very difficult for somebody to become a loyal customer. They can enjoy the view, they can enjoy the band, and they can enjoy the food, and everything together just makes for an overall amazing experience.